All right, let's get back into this. We return to Zack Snyder's Man of Steel with Lex Luthor wading through a bunch of Kryptonian poop water. That's what that is, right? I guess he's in a crashed spaceship. It could be like rainwater runoff. Ugh. Isn't he like a multi-millionaire Zuckerberg? Doesn't he have somebody else to wait around in this crap for him? That's, oh, yeah, I remember this movie now. This has Batman in it. Angry dad Batman, who apparently doesn't own any real workout equipment. Middle-aged man, is this good for your back? You stop that, do some water aerobics or something. Gotta do some low impact. Stop, you're ruining your floor. And let's see this kryptonite, let's do some research. I think with enough high-tech scientific equipment, I can hammer this big rock into like an arrowhead, like I'm a caveman or something. Oh yeah, I guess I better check my email. All right, I have that folder marked superheroes. Eh, maybe I'll give it a look. I don't really care. Lex Luthor's still in the poop water. And he's like, well, it worked for my pet goldfish. I'm gonna flush Zod. Computer, engage Mr. Bubbles protocol. <laughs> I really miss that fish. Okay, so now we get some news footage and stuff about how people blame Superman for the attack on Washington, D.C., as well as the police are investigating the real bomber. And Lois looks concerned. She's like, oh, sh- I knew there was something I was supposed to do. I'm an investigator, that's right. I better go report and investigate. So she just shows up at the crime scene. I guess she killed the cops who were there. Oh no, there he is, he's fine. And she's like looking around, investigating the bomber. And she's like, huh, this guy had a lot of milk. And then she calls up Jenna Maloney and she's like, this guy had a lot of milk. And Jenna Maloney's like, that's crazy. There was lead on the inside of the bomb though. And Lois Lane is like, oh, that's why Superman didn't save those people because he couldn't see the bomb even with his x-ray vision. And again, she's like, oh, if only people knew. If only I had, oh, I think this is an extended scene. Ooh, this is new stuff. Both main characters have to go talk to the ghost of their father figures. Superman has this nice talk with his dad up on a mountain. Tells him how I saved the farm. But while I was eating my hero cake, the horses were drowning. I think Kevin Costner's become a really good actor in his old age. The Batman one is dumber. He's like, my ancestors were hunters. And Alfred says, so full is the house of Wayne. Okay, so now Lex Luthor kidnaps Superman's mom and also kidnaps Lois Lane. And he brings her to the top of his doom tower. Then he gives some weird speech about geometry and he shoves her off. But Superman catches her because he's a nice guy. And he's like, hang on, honey, I gotta deal with something. Hey, you shoving people off of roofs. And Lex Luthor's like, I have your mom. Bring me the head of the bat or I'll set her on fire. And then he just walks away. Superman, the kidnapper of your mom is right there. Get him. But he can't because we need the last part of this movie to happen. And Wonder Woman's checking her email. The spaceship is going crazy because Lex Luthor clogged up the toilet. Oh, hi, Superman. Shouldn't you be saving your mom? And Superman's like, I gotta go convince him to help me. Oh, he's gotta die. Nobody stays good in this world. Superman, get a grip. Okay, so Batman shows up. He turns on the light. He plants his spear and he walks around in his big chunky outfit. And if you think this armor is cool, it is. It was originally designed by writer-artist Frank Miller in The Dark Knight Returns back in 1986. It's a comic I talked about in my last video. It's a cool book. Anyway, okay, so here it is. Batman's like, here I am, rock me like a hurricane. Superman's like, okay, I'm just gonna slowly walk toward you. But of course, he's got traps. So Superman knocks him out. Wonder why it cooks the ground in between those guns. Maybe it's like when you pee, it's like hard to stop once you've started. And Batman is like, oh righty, Superman. I understand why that didn't work. I understand! And Superman just like tosses him around like a tissue. I feel like he could just pick him up and say, hey, look, we gotta have a heart to heart. You bat fart. Oh no, it's Kryptonian fart gas. It's Superman's only weakness. Yeah, smell my fart, Superman. So then Batman just starts beating the bird shit out of Superman. Then after a second, the fart gas wears off, so Superman starts beating up Batman again. And they go back and forth. You know, both characters' names are in the titles. You know, this fight's gonna kind of even out. Oh, it's Batman's giving him the kitchen sink. Kapo. He does this dramatic throat choke hold and he throws him oh i fell on top of a bunch of radiators that's oh the cg there is terrible he's got no weight when he lands and batman swings him around like my parents died in the gutter you're not a man he's really working out some angsty issues in this movie and straight up trying to murder someone but at the last second superman mumbles something about killing martha and batman's like where do i know that name from why did you say that name my parents died. Oh yeah, and Lois is there. She rushes in just in time to explain the situation. She's like, Batman, chill out. He's like, I don't even need this anymore. Superman's like, God, let me just go do my job. And Batman's like, no, no. I've been a dick. I'll make you a promise. No Marthas will die tonight. And Lois is like, it's cool. He's a dick. Just let him go. Ooh, cool spear. Did somebody drop this? Oh well, I better not get involved. Just find the toilet and flush it. So Batman goes off to save Superman's mom from the thugs. And this whole next action scene is pretty cool. He works with Alfred like they scan the building and Alfred takes control of this advanced combat bat wing that he's got there. Ooh, I want this gaming setup. Then Batman jumps through the floor and he disables everybody's guns. He's leaping around. And this feels very Batman to me. I like that this one goon is still shooting down into the hole because he doesn't really understand what's going on. There's a lot of panic and man, this is brutal. But like aside from the feats of superhuman strength, this is pretty cool. This is pretty Batman. Oh shoot, he definitely killed those guys. Meanwhile, Superman flies back to confront Lex Luthor and he gives him a real mean stank face. Because if you know all the kidnapping and attempted murder, 
Stank face. How are you, my white rabbit? Guys, he can't keep his metaphors straight. He bugs me. I hate him. And Superman is like, you lose. And Luther is like, I don't hate the sinner. I hate the sin. And for you, the sin is existing. He's like, I gave the bat a chance. But if man won't kill God, then the devil will do it. And he unplugs his giant gremlin cocoon. Full of dun dun dun. Doomsday. This character from the Superman comics whose only function basically is killing Superman. And I guess Lex Luthor just knew how to make one. Well, the army better send the King Kong fighting helicopters. Oh, no, he was ready for that. So Superman pushes him up into space. This seems like a good move. And then the top generals are conferring. They're like, Mr. President. Let's shoot a missile at it. Superman's like, what the hell is that? Kapoom. This is another part here taken from the Dark Knight Returns comic, where Superman gets vaporized by a nuclear bomb and he looks dead for a minute. But then, no, it's cool. He's powered by the sun, so he just gets a quick suntan and he's fine. Meanwhile, Doomsday has fallen down to the ground in a remote area. It's uninhabited, some general says. And then Batman's like, oh, I need the spear to kill that thing. I need the spear. It's back in the city. I know, I'll get it to chase me back to the city. Where all those people are? Come on, Batman, you know better than this. But it's okay that you messed up, because Wonder Woman's here. And her theme song in this section fucking slaps. <laughs> Oh yeah, Batman says the S word and Doomsday grows a bunch of pointy spikes. Hey, it looks like it does in the comics. So Superman and Wonder Woman do battle with Doomsday. And this section is pretty super power cool. Batman spends most of it under a concrete thing because yeah. And Lois Lane realizes that, oh, that spear, it was part of the movie. I shouldn't have thrown that in the tub. So she has to go heroically almost drown to get the spear back. But it's okay because Superman saves her because he knows the sound of her panicking specifically. Except the spear is making Superman really sick. Uh-oh, here comes the sad piano music. It's time for Superman to sweatily sacrifice himself to kill Doomsday. Batman's like, don't worry, I'll hit him with some fart gas. Wonder Woman's like, what are you doing? And ooh, that's gonna hurt. I like how he looks down at it like, yeah, it's real bad. Lois is like, give it to me straight. How dead is he? Heroically dead. And we're all gonna be sad about it for the next five minutes of screen time. So Lex Luthor finally goes to jail. Ooh, in the extended edition of this movie, you get this shot of him standing in a cranberry bog with Satan and a couple of Rubik's Cubes. Superman's funeral is kind of sad, I guess. The priest reads a passage that basically says, no, he is coming back. The Earth shall give up her dead. Like, don't y'all worry. Bruce Wayne pays for it all, and he's like, no, I failed him in life. I won't fail him in death. Help me find the others like you. But what if they don't want to be found? This If You Seek His Monument Look Around You quote is from Christopher Wren, who's a famous architect and scientist. And Batman menaces Lex Luthor in prison, and then they suggest that something bigger is coming, like for the sequel, and that's it. Oh, and at the very end, we see dirt floating on top of Superman's coffin, suggesting he's still alive. And that's it. Should I do like an ending? I feel like I should do like an ending. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out my channel. You know how YouTube works. I still feel like I should have an ending. Goodbye. Okay, bye.